Hello everyone. My name is Tanmoy. I am a user survivor and an independent mental health journalist from New Delhi. Thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to address this function virtually. I'm very grateful to Dr. Lakshmi Vijay Kumar and my illustrious senior colleagues for allowing me to play a small role in this critically important paper published in the Lancet Psychiatry. A couple of years ago it would have been unthinkable for me as a lived experience expert to be able to share my voice, my story um in a platform as prestigious as the Lancet Psychiatry. I'm so proud that a group of Indian researchers of global repute have made this happen. I'm so grateful. that i got to represent a community that has been chronically marginalized and neglected for far too long having said that i must also acknowledge my immense privilege i am a cisgender middle class able bodied uh, upper caste man i can only speak of the intersectional nature of suicide with second hand knowledge the more we speak to people who are at the receiving end of some of the most brutal implications of intersectionality as it pertains to mental health and suicide the better and more inclusive our policies will be this is really the only way to create robust policies for suicide prevention it is step 0 to listen to people to give them the credence that their expertise deserves to acknowledge that they are experts even they, though they may not have mental health degrees or even though they may not be suicide prevention activists in the formal sense of the word after the coronavirus pandemic we are faced with both a unique challenge and a unique opportunity as a lived experience expert and a mental health journalist i have noticed a trend um in the western countries in the first world quote unquote of constantly debating whether suicide is in fact going to be a big public health challenge post the pandemic and yet story after story from the low and middle income countries of asia and africa prove that this is a crisis that we need to be ready for once again step 0 in making this knowledge this intuition part of formal institutions part of formal policy making is by tapping into the collective knowledge of lived experience experts people who have really experienced the most devastating blows of the pandemic and what it has done to their life force we need to start moving the needle from simply talking about busting stigma and creating more awareness to creating access to compassionate care to strengthening our communities so that the burden is reduced from the formal healthcare system because suicide is not really a healthcare problem alone as one of our co-authors dr pathare keeps reminding us very often suicide and other mental health problems are created in other areas of society and then laid at the doorstep of the healthcare sector for them to solve those problems this has to stop this can only stop once again if we become more receptive to stories of people with actual lived experience that's the only way that we will realize that suicide is in fact a complex intersectional and intersectoral problem that resists quick fixes that cannot be addressed with one dimensional solutions i really hope this paper heralds a change of direction that is so critically important and once again i thank you all for allowing me to have been part of this history making paper thank you